Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Pisces, how's it going? How's it feeling out there, Pisces? Huh? Is the water nice and temperate, Pisces? Not too rough, not too calm, but just about right. Right, Pisces? I hope so. I hope so. We're going to throw some cards for Pisces. We are. Let's do it. Let's do a reading for Pisces. So guess what, Pisces? I did something. I did. I did something. I wrote a book. Check it out. I wrote a book. It's called, Who Do You Think You Are? The Ultimate Guide to Your Awakening. Yep, yep, yep. It's 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 a good book. I really think it's a good book. I do. I do. It's a short book. It's an easy read or an easy listen, but it's it's quite impactful. So anyway, if you want my book, you can get it on Amazon with a link in the description box or... Or, if you want to listen to it before it goes on Audible and they take all my rights to it, <laughs> you can listen to it at uh, the link in the description box below. You can either buy the ebook on Amazon or you can uh, listen to the bootlegged. <laughs> Um, audio version of it um, on Gumroad. Yep, yep, yep. It'll be available for you guys to uh, download and listen to until my book goes live on Audible and then they will own the rights to it. So there you go, Pisces. If you guys, uh, if you guys want to join in on that, um, please do. All right, let's do it. If you're new to the channel, Thanks for stopping by. Snuggle up to this table. Get comfortable. If you're coming back, thank you so much for being a part of the, uh, well, for Taurus, I usually say tribe. So what am I going to say for Pisces? School. <laughs> right? Thanks for being part of the school of fish here, Pisces. I appreciate that a lot. And if you like what you hear here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because apparently I'm supposed to say that. So there you go. All right, let's do it, you guys. Let's do it. Let's throw down for Pisces. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of cards. We're going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story, okay? Okay. All righty, let's do this. I have to uh, be careful here and remember that I'm reading for Pisces and not Taurus. And if you're new to the channel, that's pretty much all I read for is Pisces and Taurus. My whole everything is personal readings. Personal readings is really much like my career. But I do these two because I am a Taurus sun and I'm a Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. Taurus on the cusp of Aries. So, you know, it just kind of happened like this. My whole YouTube channel just kind of happened like this. So that being said, uh, Taurus kind of likes it a little hard. <laughs> and I have to be a little softer and nicer with Pisces because y'all aren't as thick skinned as the old bulls are. So I will try to uh, I will try to check my tone. Okay, Pisces, I'll try to check my tone. All right, let's do it. Give me a chance to channel. Follow along with me. When I cut the cards, you can just relax, all right? All right. Whoa, these cards want to talk so bad, you guys. All right. Dang. Settle. Settle. All right. Everybody. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the Collective of Pisces here with me, Spirit. And as you know, they want to know what you know. What do you know about Pisces? And what do they need to know about themselves, their lives, and their futures? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate for their very best and highest good? Very best and highest good. Spirit, please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the... All right, let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three. Two and three. All right. 
bottom of the deck is solitude. Now these cards are supposed to be read in the upright, so I'm going to read them in the upright, but I'll clarify them like I usually do, okay? So we got uh, the old hermit right here, okay? Solitude. And then the nine of swords, suffering in silence, anxiety, and despair. Oops, that's a chakra card, but we're going to put it up here because, you know, I'm trying to learn about the chakras and stuff, so maybe we'll explore that a little bit. All right. Third card, uh, the Eight of Pentacles, positive movement forward. Look, the mind, the mind. I do know the crown chakra is the mind. Interesting. And then judgment with truth. Okay. Foundations and achievements with the Four of Wands, the Six of Cups, death with transformation, and the moon with 18. Sacrifice with 12, which is the hangman. This is death. And the three of pentacles, reward. The eight of cups, emotional suffering. Oh, look, and then we have the heart chakra. Isn't that handy right there, okay? Interesting, because emotions to emotions, right? All right. All right, Pisces, this is what's going on. So you open with the Hermit, right? This is Major Arcana. It's a card about soul searching and introspection, right? So advice right out the box. First card out sets the tone for everything. The advice in this reading is to just be still and feel for a minute, Pisces. Listen to that ancient soul, the same soul from back in the day, same soul that's going to pick up when you die. Same soul resides inside of you right now, and it tries to lead you and show you and guide you the way through your intuition. And Pisces is all too familiar with the intuition. So Hermit says, be still and be quiet for a moment, my little guppy. Just be still and quiet to the star because your path and your purpose is unfolding, okay? We're working behind the scenes, we're doing stuff. Um, just be still for a minute to the queen of pentacles. Um, what we're doing is divinely orchestrating the path of your life so you can be what it is you truly desire to be, okay? I'll explain this in a minute. So suffering in silence, there's the Pisces, right? All up in your head, all up in your head, grief, despair, anxiety, strength in reverse, uh, feeling weak, um, but this, this, this anxiety and despair that you are focusing on in your mind um, is a weakness because it's low vibrational energy and not high vibrational energy, right? When it comes to your mind, your mind creates your reality, whether you like it or not. It's the magician. It's lesson one, and it's in your reading two times, okay? Your mind creates your reality, and if you are anxious or in a state of despair about your financial situation or your sense of well-being or the stability of some kind of relationship in your life, if that's what's ringing in the back of your head, that's what's ringing through in your frequency and your vibration, and that's what you are attracting into your life, okay? That's why it's a weakness. It's succumbing to the darker side of you and not overcoming to be strong and courageous, okay? So you got all this going on in your mind right here. Six of Wands in reverse. Like I just said, this will manifest delays and a lack of success. Okay, this 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 anxiety-stricken mindset of this particular Pisces. To justice. What's in your best interest, what's in your best and highest good is to take accountability, which would be to go into solitude, go into the hermit energy, stew on the inside a little bit, okay? Because your path and your purpose is being unfolded, okay? It is an injustice for you to stay like this. What's in your best interest is to snap out of this sour mindset, Okay, because movement is coming. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, what you've been working on, what you've been dedicating your life to or doing um, is about to pop open for you. 
Ten of Pentacles. And it's going to be outrageously successful and dare I say it's going to change the foundation for generations to come. Okay? Truth with judgment. Um, this is, again, major arcana, just like justice was, just like the star, right? And just like, uh, what was that? Yeah, solitude in the hermit, okay? Major arcana, the life lessons of the tarot, truth, judgment, some kind of, of something. This is universal order, okay? It's universal order order. It's also about you following a calling of some sort, okay? And because your path is about to unfold, you need to just check in a little bit with the with the hermit energy, right? To the two of pentacles. Um, this talks about an imbalance in finances or an imbalance in your sense of well-being or an, an inability to adapt, okay? And what this is saying is that you have put in a lot of work in something here, Pisces, something, but it's not producing as fast as you thought it would, you think it will, or you will think it will, okay? If you are about to engage in some kind of entrepreneurial endeavor, Pisces, pay attention because this reading's for you. If you are trying to create something foundational and successful in your life. You've put in a lot of effort and a lot of work and it's just falling flat or, or, or you're not seeing the fruits of your labor just yet. Okay. That's that two of pentacles in reverse. Nine of Cups says, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction are on the way, Pisces. The Devil in Reverse says, release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? Well, whatever this anxiety is over here, whatever this, this weak link in your personal constitution is over here, those are your limiting beliefs that you need to release because these cards say something's coming to you, Pisces. Something's on its way to you. But this is kind of uh, slowing things down a little bit because your mind's, your frequency's not right. It's, it's, it's low vibrational. It needs to be high vibrational frequency. You need to believe in whatever this whole situation is here for you. You need to believe in it and you need to keep fighting the good fight and don't let your shadow self, your, um, the side of you maybe that has the imposter syndrome from the previous reading that I put out. Don't let this side of you pollute the environment that this is trying to manifest in. All right, what's going on? The four of, of, of uh, uh, wands, okay? This is foundations and achievements in this deck. And then that nine of swords again, right? It's the same nine of swords, suffering and silence. Um, you are worried about uh, stability of your life somehow, some way, okay? Four is about stability. And the fire energy in a four is going to be about harmony, home, uh, foundations, achievements, um, completions. You're, you're worried somehow that things aren't going to uh, the effort that you've put in with the page of wands, right? You've put in a lot of effort to something and it's your very foundation depends upon it. And it is um, maybe not as you expected it to be, okay? Then the Six of Cups to the Empress and Judgment. So here's where things kind of take a little bit of a turn, a little bit. So we got the Six of Cups, the Empress, and Judgment, okay? Um, I asked, what in the world is this Six of Cups about? Because it's clarified by the Empress. Judgment comes on top of it, and this is, again, some kind of universal order, some kind of decision of some sort. And then I got the Page of Cups, a message, the Knight of Pentacles, but it's taken a minute to get here to the Seven of Pentacles, because somebody's thinking about something, Knight of Swords, before they reach out, Queen of Swords, and give you some kind of an offer, 
Okay? It's a very offer offer though. It's not a big emotional offer. So we got the lovers in the two of cups all over the bottom of this reading. So whatever this is, is a significant relationship in your life that is going to transform and change everything. And it's directly related to whatever it is that you've been working on. Whatever it is that you have been sweating away at Pisces, it's about to pop. It just is. The Empress, this is you standing in your power. Why is it about to pop for you? Well, because you have pointed your thought life towards what your intuition is guiding you towards, and you have put in effort and work to produce something in your life. And because of that, because you put your mind towards your intuition, you became the empress. She's the seedbed of everything. You want to know what's in your best and highest good? Ask your intuition and point your mind in that direction. And it will lead you every single time to your best and highest good. And whomever this is has done that. This person has some kind of a spark in their chest, and they have done that, okay? And because of that, there's a message that's coming with the Page of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. It's taken a second, though, Seven of Wands. Somebody's reflecting and assessing, or it's taking a second for you to reflect and assess because you need to get this mindset back together again, Okay, but I, it's both. I really believe it's both. I believe somebody is observing, reflecting, and assessing about something that you have put together. Okay, and they're going to reach out to you, Knight of Swords, very serious, very straightforward energy, and the Queen of Swords, very serious, ve very straightforward energy, contracts, um, an offer of some sort is going to be made to you. Okay? All right. Um, transformation with death. This is, this offer right here transforms this financial situation right here with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Totally transforms it. It's the end of the way things were forever and always. Amen. In the beginning to way that the way that things will be. Now, I want to back up just a second because I forgot to tell you all about this Six of Cups. Okay. So this Six of Cups is directly related to this transformation. And part of the anxiety that may be in this whole situation, in addition to this whole situation, is that. I think this opportunity requires you to move somewhere, to go somewhere, or to leave some kind of familiar, warm, fuzzy situation behind, okay? Because transformation, death, an ending, and a beginning, um, a transformation of your life. And it is clarified by the Four of Swords. Got to come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, or the pain that you are holding in your mind from this up here, because whatever this up here is directly related to your imbalance in your sense of well-being or your sense of security. Okay, The transformation comes when you get it together in your mind and pick up the fourth sword, bring stability to your mindset, page of swords to the fool. This message comes in, this offer comes in, and you bounce. It's a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, a leveling up of your spirituality. Because remember, this particular Pisces is following their guts on something. They are. And then the shadow with the moon. This is the struggle on the inside. It is a card of Pisces. It's also Cancer. But this is a big, huge struggle on the inside between that what you know to be true and that what you do not really want to accept is the truth. And that goes back to that Six of Cups back there, right here. It goes back and the fool, okay? And a hard line decision and transformation. I think that this new opportunity in your life is pulling you away from some kind of a comfort zone, okay? Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and um, you're kind of stuck in that comfort zone. You are stuck in this moon energy. Hangman, right? Just, just hanging on there just for a minute. 
the Two of Cups, this new opportunity has absolutely everything 100% to do with some kind of partnership. To the Empress, um, in your best interest, when it comes to this partnership, keep doing the same thing. Keep pointing your mind towards what your guts are telling you. Wheel of Fortune, because the universe is divinely orchestrating the path of your life. And this is a moving card and a moving card. And the Six of Cups is the comfortable place. Moving, 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 death, moving all over the place. The star, movement, Eight of Pentacles, movement. Everything is working in the background for this to go boom in your life, Pisces. But you're, you're, you're gumming up the engine with this mindset back here. Because what you don't see is that this is all about to change. Okay? All right. The hangman. The hangman. 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 Uh, this is um, you. You like I said, gumming up the engine. Why? The Ten of Wands, because you're carrying a burden that you don't have to carry. You're suffering in your mind and you don't have to because this is all going to dissipate and everything is going to be so freaking beautiful. Everything is going to be beautiful. There's a huge turning point coming, Pisces, and you're just hanging with a burden that you don't have to, and it's gumming it up. What's the burden? The Three of Swords. Grief in the mind, the mindset, sorrow or grief. The lovers. Yep, yep, yep. This lover, this lover's card, everybody always thinks immediately that this is romance, but it's not. The six of, of Trump is about energetic, um, it's about frequency. It's about who you attract and who you are attracted to. Yes, it is. Um, this is talking about changing the frequency like we talked about a while back, right? Changing the frequency and, and, and vibing at a high frequency instead of a low frequency. Look, two of swords. Because nobody knows where to go and they're going to follow your vibration. And if you're vibing low, it's going to go low. And if you're vibing high, it's going to go high. Crossroads, right? The lovers is, yes, there is a hugely significant relationship that is about to transpire in your life. Okay. But, but, but it can't come until you match its frequency. Okay. All right. Recognition and reward, the Three of Pentacles. Um, this is literally, the universe is literally trying to reward you, Pisces. Your, when your vibration, when your frequency meets that of the universe, the universe is attracted to you. The universe only has your best and highest good ever in, 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 in the tapestry of life. Your Akashic records are your best and highest good. And everything that you do in between is the story of why you're not where you're supposed to be. Right? Recognition and reward is coming towards you. The King of Pentacles. A great deal of success. This is the partner. This is the partner to the Queen of Pentacles right there. That's this offer. That's this movement. That's this turning point. That's this whole path and purpose. This is what you don't see. Okay? This is what you don't see. Look, the Knight of Wands. Message, inspired action, inspiration. This person shares somehow, some way in your inspiration. And the Magician manifestation. It is literally trying to manifest into your life. And whoever this is for, these cards want you to know real, 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 real strongly that you are the only thing standing in your way. All right. The eight of cups. Disappointment. So the eight of cups, your disappointment. Okay. Your disappointment in that 
it's not going the way that you think it should be going by now. Okay, temperance comes on top of that and says, cool your jets, Pisces, slow down, slow down, tread water for a minute, just slow down, okay? Wait, it's all coming together. Get your mind, point your mind towards success. Point your mind from an I believe standpoint instead of an I doubt standpoint, okay? Point your mind in the direction that it's supposed to go. Be easy. Relax. The hermit, right? Check yourself. Check with spirit. Check your flow. See what's going on. Be still. Listen for guidance, right? Page of Pentacles because a new opportunity is coming. Brand new opportunity. Look, Eight of Swords in reverse, but you have to change your perspective. You have to change your perspective. The world card. So this cycle can close and this cycle can open up in your life. Mm -hmm. The seven of, and it's just kind of repeating, but we're almost done. That's okay. The seven of cups is about confusion. Why hasn't it worked yet? Why, why isn't this going the way that I think it should go? To the four of swords. You better just rest while you can, Pisces. That's why they want you to go into solitude. You need to gird up. You need to gird up. You need to rest. You need, you need this time to get your mind straight so you can be in the frame of mind that you need to be in when this happens. What's happening? Well, the four of pentacles, firm foundation, security, lots and lots of security, lots and lots of stability, lots of stability. Lots of security, lots of stability to the magician. It's literally manifesting right now. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep your mind in the manifestation mode. To the two of cups, what's manifesting? Some kind of super significant partnership. The king of wands. It is your achievement and success. Lovers, again, with harmony. It is a harmonious relationship. <laughs> to the Three of Cups, you're going to meet this person. You're going to meet this person. You're going to be exactly where you need to be, exactly when you need to be there, either in presence or in physicality. You're going to be where you need to be in front of whoever it is that you need to be in front of to forge this alchemy to take your energy and the other thing's energy and it comes together and it creates something that was never there before. And that's what the transformation of your new life is. That's the new beginning, the new, the new journey. And look, the magician freaking again, again, manifestation, your mind, it's coming. Clear the way for it, Pisces. Clear the way for it to come, okay? Look, that first chakra card that came out, the crown chakra, your mind. Clear your mind so your whole everything can come together. Why? Seven of swords in reverse. Futile mindset. Eight of pentacles. What you have been working on, what you have been put, pouring your heart and soul into will meet your expectations. And the seven of wands comes on top of this and talks to you about a challenge. Be, persevere through the challenge. What's the challenge? Financial, upside down, insecure, well-being, upside down feeling that's got you all filled with anxiety, okay? Know that you know that you know that whatever this is, that you are supposed to be doing this. This is part of your path and it's part of your purpose and your hard work is going to pay off and it is going to be exponentially fantastic in your life, Pisces. Fantastic. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful reading. I sure do hope that that helps someone. If you want your cards read, hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org and check out my book, Who Do You Think You Are? The Ultimate Guide to Your Awakening. In the description box, all the details for everything. Namaste.